What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about tech reviews, tutorials, and how-tos. Today I have another IoT review for you, but before I get into it, I did want to say please subscribe if you are interested in seeing more tech reviews over at youtube.com slash Shannon Morse. You can also support me over at buymeacoffee.com slash snubs or patreon.com slash Shannon Morse as well. So today I have another Nixplay smart photo frame. This is is a 9.7 inch photo frame in Wi-Fi and the color in this case is called metal. The MSRP for this is about $330 but it's currently on sale for about $260. There's also a black version that's available for an MSRP of about $280 and that's on sale for $223. Now I wanted to bring this one up right now because Nixplay is having a Mother's Day sale so you can get up to 30% off of all the Nixplay smart photo frames. I think I've had about four of them over my course of being on tech thing as well as reviewing products on my personal channel so there's a whole bunch of different options for photo frames and you can check out all those previous reviews if you want to they're also having a flat 25 percent discount on nixplay seed which is a 10.1 inch frame and the nixplay seed 13 inch through may 10th so plenty of different options in case you're looking for one i'll put links to all of the different sales down in the description below so you have plenty of options for mother's day. So this is again the third or fourth Nixplay frame that I've gotten a chance to review so I was pretty excited to see how this one stacks up against the others. Nixplay has tons of frames available and they're all various sizes. This one for example is 8.78 inches by 10.75 inches and again it's available in this metal color which is very shiny or black. The backing is very similar to the other models with the textured plastic. There's also a bendy cable stand, a mounting option in case you want to hang it on your wall. I'm going to put this down now because I don't want to hold it for the entire process of the review. So there is a bendable stand on the back of it just like other Nixplay photo frames and this allows you to change the frame from portrait over to landscape mode depending on your preferences. And since it is bendable you kind of have to figure out how to make it stand up the best so that it doesn't fall whenever you're displaying it on a table. The chrome shiny metal is definitely not my preference. I prefer black, but if you are going for a more glam vibe in your household, this would work really well with your decor, and I know plenty of people who would love a nice shiny chrome frame. Now since I mentioned the screen, that is a major upgrade from the last one I reviewed. The last one was around, I think, full HD. This one actually has a 2K screen, so it's 2048 by 1536 IPS screen instead of just the HD with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Now I really really also like this fuller aspect ratio. Whenever I'm viewing photos that fill the screen, this gives me a much better view of the entire photo instead of cutting off the edges with a thinner 16 by 9 screen. If you do take more photos with a wider aspect ratio, you may prefer a different frame, so I would recommend matching up whichever frame you choose to however you normally take your pictures. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, just go into your settings for your camera app on your phone and look for aspect ratio, and usually it's something like 16 by 9 or four by three. Those are the normal ones. The display is very clear, it's very crisp, and I do see a difference between this 2K frame and the one that is full HD or that lower resolution. Details are very, very sharp. The brightness of this model, it's 350 nits. It's plenty bright for even a sunny room, which is great for me because I have lots of windows. The brightness can be controlled manually, or you can turn on the ambient light sensor to allow it to change automatically depending on the light around you. The display is slightly slightly glossy, so reflections may be a concern in direct sunlight. It is clearly visible though, no matter what angle you are viewing the frame from, thanks to that IPS display. Now all of Nixplay frames come with a remote that can be used to control it without a smartphone, which is pretty cool. The remote comes in the box, it can be magnetically stored on the back of the frame, which is great because I lose remotes all the time, and you won't misplace it. You can just stick it on the back and it will forever have a little home. The remote is required for setup and you do have to to type in your Wi-Fi passwords using the directional buttons, which can be kind of a pain, but you never have to do it again unless you intend to change your Wi-Fi SSID or the password in the foreseeable future. Now, while the storage is listed as eight gigs, mine is actually 4.64 gigs due to the software taking up a few gigs itself on the frame itself. I like the fact that it has internal storage of eight gigs. 
because if it does get disconnected from Wi-Fi, it will still display your photos. Now, four gigs is still plenty of space to display only your favorite photos. They do also have cloud backups as well, so you get plenty of storage space for all of your photography. Now, since it has speakers built in, you can also share 15 second videos, which is pretty cool. A nice little feature. I prefer to keep my photo frame quiet, especially since I record a lot. So I generally keep the volume down or I just don't upload any videos at all. The settings on the frame allow you to do pretty much everything except for upload new photos or print them into high quality through Fuji Photos. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to navigate the settings. Nixplay does give you a ton of customization options as well. They also have the iOS and Android app, which you can pair with your frame. And this allows you to just pair and unpair the frame. You also can set up your Nixplay account, upload photos. You can print them using Nixplay's collab with Fuji. You can also invite family members to download the app and then they can send your frame photos along with you sending them photos if they have a Nixplay photo frame. And that's one of the coolest features yet. And they also have the same kind of customizations that you get through the remote directly with the photo frame. Now, I actually bought my mom a Nixplay frame a while back so I can send her photos that she can display in her home and she absolutely loves the thing. It's so easy for her to use, which is great because she has an iPhone and I haven't used an iPhone in like a decade. The Google Photos integration is also pretty cool as that allows you to add photos straight from your Google Photos albums into the Nixplay app and it's very, very easy. You can also use Google Assistant to turn your frame on and off by connecting it to your Google Home app. And this is also really simple. You just have to find Nixplay, the brand, within the Google Home app and then connect it to your Wi-Fi. Now, I think that this frame is well worth the money for an intuitive, highly customizable photo frame. If you are looking to go for a less expensive option, the lower resolution models still look really great. Here's a comparison between the two that I have in-house. If you want something that is larger than 9.7 inches, there are frames that go all the way up to 13 inches. So pretty much whatever your mom might want for Mother's Day, there's an option for her. Nixplay has a library of photo frames now available and they have taken things into consideration for upgrades. For example, I had an application criticism in a previous review I did and since the update to this newest application version, they fixed it. So I'm really happy to see that they're taking those things into consideration and making those changes as they go along. I love it when companies do that and Nixplay is one of my favorites for doing those kind of things. Now this is not battery operated so you do always have to keep it plugged in but even with that said I found plenty of places to plug it in and the cable is quite long so there's plenty of different options for you depending on how you choose to set this up. I think that's about it for this photo frame. I would love to know what you think and if you want to see more IoT devices on this channel leave me a comment down below with any kind of questions that you may have. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this content, please share it as well. I really appreciate it when new folks come in and experience the awesomeness that is my reviews. At least I think they're awesome. Are they awesome? I try. I try to make them awesome. Thank you so much to my s'mores for watching. I'm Shannon Morris and I will see you next time. Bye.